education, of course, infrastructure. This will not only impact them now, but also in the years to come, uh, as by uh, 2040 or so, a third of new entrants, uh, new labor market entrants will be from sub-Saharan Africa. Skilled, educated workers will be vital to the health and stability of the global economy, but today's funding squeeze may impact the region's ability to provide them. I've always said that this is the African century, but uh, if measures are not taken to address this funding squeeze, now the region may be held back from developing its potential. Here at the IMF, we're playing our part. Uh, as of last month, uh, we had 21 lending arrangements uh, with countries in the region, and with still more programs under request and under discussion. And between 2020 and 2022, we provided more than $50 billion uh, through programs, emergency financing, and special drawing rights allocation. We're also, of course, continuing to provide capacity development and technical assistance and training uh, to uh, our members, um, and we'll continue to do so in the coming months.